Hello everyone. Welcome back to Travel and Nature channel. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about money saving tips and travel guide when you're traveling Phuket in Thailand. If you are planning to travel Phuket Thailand, this video will tell you how to save money, how to get around, give your cost and help you plan the best trip to this island. From 1st of November 2021, the Phuket Sandbox became part of the extended Blue Zone Sandbox Scheme. After the first 7 nights in Phuket Province, visitors are permitted to travel to other areas of Thailand. Although Phuket is more expensive than many other islands in Thailand, there are still plenty of ways to save money. However, there are some ways to save money in Phuket. First one is eat street food. Speaking of street food, don't be afraid to eat it. It's safe, even safer than most restaurants. If it weren't, the Thai wouldn't be packing the stall each day. You will find the best of Thailand's food on the street and it will cost you a fraction of what you pay at a restaurant. Second one buy beer at the 7-eleven buy your beers from the supermarket as they are much cheaper here than anywhere else most bars don't have cockage fees so you can also bring sprites and just buy ice and mixers third one Ride in a song tow or rent a bike. These are converted pickup trucks are shared taxis that cost a lot less than a tuk-tuk or a taxi. If you are looking to get around on your own, renting a bike is also a great option and can usually be done for about 200 Thai baht per a day. Fourth one, come during low season. Prices drastically drop during low season. You can usually negotiate hostel, hotel fees during this time. Fifth time, bargain hard. When shopping at the markets, whip out your negotiate skills. The rule of thumb is more you buy, the cheaper the prices will be. So, shop in packs for the best deals. Sixth one, use a water bottle with the purifier. It isn't safe to drink the tap water in Phuket. And although buying bottled water is cheap, it does add up, pick up a live straw. How to get around Phuket? First one, local bus. Small buses connect Phuket's old town with the main beach resort around the island like Patong and Karan. There are slow because of the number of stops to make but they are cheap and reliable. Second one is Song Thieves. Song Thieves are covered trucks 
that have been converted into multi-passenger vehicles. The trucks boxes usually converted with two wooden benches for seating. There are no set stop like the local bus. You will just have to flag one down that is headed in your direction. There will usually be a sign on a dashboard to let you know where the final stop is. Motorbike Taxi A motorbike taxi will cost on average 60 Thai baht per short journey around town. If you are going a longer distance, I don't advise taking a motorbike taxi. It's not the safe option. Fourth one is Tuk Tuk. The Tuk Tuk in Phuket look more like song thieves than the Tuk Tuk in other parts of Thailand. These can be more expensive even the meter taxi because the drivers work together and they are known not to undercut each other. Since there is no public transportation between the beaches and because other transportation tends to stop early in the evening. Tuk Tuk drivers know that they can charge us higher prices. Fifth one, taxi. Meter taxis are expensive, but sometimes they are cheaper than tuk tuks. Their pass start at 5th Thai baht per 2 km. Non meter taxi typically charge flat rates and are not really necessary for long distance. Car rental. Cars can be rented for 1000 Thai baht a day. I only suggest doing this if you are with family or a group who wanted to split the cost. Ride sharing The Grab app is like the Uber of Tyler. Prices are cheaper than taxis and you are driven by a local in his her vehicle. You can pay via the app or in cash and you will get a price estimate for your journey before you even get in the car. Having said that, on Phuket the prices are sometimes not much different than taxis. When to go to Phuket? Like the other islands in the part of the Thailand, peak season in Phuket is from November to April. If you travel during May to October, you will avoid the busy season and save quite a bit of money, although it may be rainy. However, November to April offers cooler temperature and nicer weather with constant sunshine and clear sky. Mid May to October is monsoon season in Phuket. Although it rains for a while each day, the temperature average about 24 Fahrenheit per day. If you don't mind a bit of rain, this is an excellent time to come. How to stay safe in Phuket? Phuket is safe, especially for solo travelers. It's one of the easiest places in Thailand to meet other solo travelers. So, you are never really on your own. Petty theft, including bag snatching, is the most common type of crime in Phuket. Paton is a party destination. 
Most people run into problems here when they are drunk and stupid. Don't overdo it and always be mindful of your drink. Although uncommon travelers have been known to fail victim to drugging so they can be marked or molested. Do not do drugs or participate in the sex industry. Both can have several consequences. Always trust your gut instinct. If a taxi driver seems shady, stop the cab and get out. If your hotel is seedier than you thought, get out of there. Make copies of your personal documents including your passport and ID. If you don't do it at home, don't do it in Phuket. Travel safety. Let's meet from another video. If you like this video and not subscribe yet, subscribe the channel and click the bell for get new video notification. Thank you for watching.